Okay, I have no idea where that shut down on me. Maybe I'm just going to read the card's message. If this is a replay, then hey, must be very important to hear the message again. Okay, this is communication. The number was 34, which is a 7 chain. Whether we realize it or not, we are all in constant communication with life and the world around us. Not only in what we say, but in our body language, tone to, tonally, facial expression, and movement. We communicate far more than most of us realize. In fact, the words are the words we speak only make up a very small percentage of what we communicate out into the world each day. This card is an invitation to come into alignment inside and out with what you really want to say in life. Take time to get clear within yourself first. Become conscious of what your soul wishes to express. Then open your perception to the many ways that you may be able to communicate that clarity. If you find it hard to verbalize what you really want to say, this card encourages you to practice expressing yourself out loud in other ways. Take a moment to pause before speaking and practice slowly and practice slowing slowing down your breath so that you can that you are calm and able to clearly, clearly connect with what you most want to express. You may even choose to write a letter to someone or to put down your thoughts and writings before you speak. Pay attention to the way you speak and the way you express yourself. Choose to value your words and your opinions and then others will value them too. The essence of communications is all about your connection with other people. Be open to speaking be open to speaking up about your opinions and beliefs. Acknowledge responsibilities for expressing yourself and needs and your needs to others. Balanced communication also is also about being patient, accepting, and willing to listen. Listen to the words and actions of others and to what is being expressed in the subtle, subtle moments and exchanges of life. It is here in the quiet gaps between the wor words that the deepest truths are revealed. Listen to what's going on around you in your family, community, and the world. Choose to be generally engaged, gen gen genuinely. Choose to be engaged and to be actively involved in community conversations. Choose to communicate consciously. Oh, I love that. Choose to communicate consciously. Okay, well, I think that that says so much for our spirits. So now we are going to go to, that was number two. So now I'm going to go to number three, which is that number one, two, the sacral. Well, that was um, yeah number two the sacral the sacral and the sacral hand and so now we're gonna go to the base chakra number one is our sac um our solar plex so beautiful okay okay so number one base chakra material world physical vitality survival instincts. Security, grounding, stability, actions, and persever perseverance, and foundation. So the chakra symbol interpretation is, for the death of our earthly fire and the primordial energy of life itself emerges Malhara, Malahara, or first chakra. I know I'm just butchering that name, but that's M-U-L-A-D-H-A-R-A. Our first chakra, the root center of our being. Four linking lotus petals from a perfect circle containing within it a square. The balanced symbol of earth within the square, an introverted triangle, traditionally enclosing, encloses the Kundalini snake, our dormant spiritual potential awaiting to be awakened. The base chakra calls us to ignite this potential to begin our spiritual journey upwards so that the energy can be reunited and the source from which it is or, orientated, originated. It also 
Through this chakra, we draw down and anchor the energies of heaven here on the physical farm. Yeah, it's such a beautiful, that base chakra connects completely directly with the crown chakra and the, the soul. It's just such a divine system within us. We really, it's a really important to tap in with it. So um, the card message is located at the base of our spine. The base chakra is a primal energy center. The chakras governs our basic survival needs, also known as the tribal chakra. It carries the qualities of our ancestors, cultures, and our innate connection with the earth. It encourages us to build structure and a foundation in our life to provide us with the sense of security, safety, and stability. Within the realms of the first chakra, Mother Earth is our, is our best teacher. It is time to set both feet out into the soul of life and feel yourself rooted into the earth like a great tree. Breathe and absorb the power of this primal energy into your body. Watch, sense, and feel how nature works and align yourself with this wisdom. Remember to be practical and present in life. Tend to your home, your physical needs, and your earthly responsibilities. Many people on the spiritual path have a tendency to feel drawn towards the more ethereal powers of the higher chakras. But if we are not based here in the in the base chakra, this ethereal experience are not able to be accessed and utilized in our life in a productive way. And it's saying, yeah, that crown chakra, you know, it's all connected. All seven chakras are connected and they all in line and work with each other. But getting in, up in the morning and getting out in nature is such a beautiful way to align yourself with your, um, your inner spirit and keeps your flow flowing throughout the day. Many people in the spiritual path have a tendency to just be based on the top of our heads, higher chakras. Um, the potential of growth and transformation of our beings can only occur if we can integrate this higher realm's wisdom with their physical life here on earth. The ability to live a spiritual life with the being fully present here on earthly reality is the essence of this chakra. This card calls you to be, calls you to channel your inspired thoughts and ideas into a practical grounding action within your life. It encourages you to persevere with action and to bring about health, vitality, and general sense of aliveness and connection with the earth. This will strengthen, this will strengthen the power of your base chakra and you will find that with a solid foundation and a sense of health and vitality, your life will flourish transform and evolve it will naturally change and flow like nature and her cycle of the seasons yeah i truly believe that getting into nature being present with your body loving on yourself all of those are keys to just being um, able to be here on this lovely earth in this lovely body of ours okay so now we're going to go to number four and that was the Oh, I always skip the heart chakra, so I'm going to go right to number five. I always skip the heart chakra, and I weave all, everything right back into the, um, weave all of the chakras that go from the, now we're at the, um, the throat chakra, number five. And the card that came up is emotions, and that's kind of, how fitting is that? Oh, my goodness. Mm, how fitting is that? Okay, emotions, 11, 2, 1, 1, emotions, feeling, expressions, mood, and balance. Become aware of the vast range of emotions within you. Acknowledge your true feelings and express the energy of your heart. Okay, so the card story. Drops of water blur the borders between laughter and tears, anger and peace, as a many surveys his emotional landscape as a man surveys his emotional landscape his mind moves through various perceptive leading him into a journey through his feelings each point of the focus produces a different emotional response no feeling is better or worse than the other for each is an energy that can be harvested for good 
finally he settles in on a view that brings him into the space he wants to be, not by controlling or suppressing, but by conscious choice and allowing emotions. Ah, oh, that's such a beautiful card. So the message is, emotions are like the currents of a river, constantly shifting and changing in response to what lies beneath. It is natural and normal to feel. It is natural and normal. Let me get back to where I was. It is natural and normal to feel. We all feel different emotions at different times in our lives. When balanced, we are able to feel and express a full range of emotions, harness, harness that energy in productive ways. It is time to take steps to achieve emotional balance by truthfully acknowledging how you feel and allowing yourself the time and space to express, experience and express your emotions. I like that, experience and express your emotion. You may need to write what you're feeling in your journal, scream out loud, hunch a pillow, or go for a run or take a friend or talk to a friend. If you have held back your emotions for a long time, you may need to watch a movie to allow yourself to cry. Get angry, laugh out loud, and basically just feel again. Take responsibilities for your emotions. Do not blame anyone else for making you feel a certain way. The feelings you have is your own. The feelings you have is your own, and it is based on whatever your point of focus is in this moment. Acknowledge this. Feel it and work through it. Look at what is behind the emotion. Has your diet uh, affected your mood lately? Are your hormones in balance? Are you stressed out? Uh, are you angry with everyone or unhappy with something inside yourself? Notice your emotional undercurrents and give them a pathway to be shared and released. Honest emotional expression can make us feel vulnerable at times, but within this vulnerability is a great strength. Moving beyond the mind, we enter the powerful wellspring of the heart while miracles, miraculously, transformation, growth, and learning are waiting to occur. Feel and express your emotions today. Mm, I love that. Feel and express your emotions today. So he's like, mm, and then he got balance. Then he's into laughter. Then he's into joy. And breathing. Just breathe. It all will work out to be just the way it's supposed to be. So let's now go pop up to our third eye. It's the third eye, the inner child, number six. The 18 and nine, it's a completion, number eight, one and eight, nine, inner child. So the the third my third eye is like your um, inner 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 eyeball <laughs> your inner eye your second eyes um your third set of eyes should i say um and they're just totally connected to your intuition just deep intuition once you feel something then your once your pineal is open and you can feel things and and vision things they come to that third eye and your intuition you're just golden 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 so playful lightheartedness innocence and wonder through the gift of play and rekindled innocence, you open yourself up to the field of infinite possibilities. I love this yellow. I'm always when wanting to find myself a perfect yellow dress. With arms and spirit fully extended, a child leaps through a field of flowers, long grass and butterflies with boundless trust and natural freedom. She thinks not of where she will land, of, for she knows that soft grass and flowers will meet her at the perfect time, in the perfect way. With arms stretching to the sky, she reflects a spontaneous flight of butterflies all around her. She re reflects the spontaneous flights of butterflies all around her. Are, or are they mirroring her? Oh, that's beautiful. The card message, wake up, it's time to be cheer carefree, I was saying cheerful, carefree, playful, and spontaneous, childlike and trusting, bringing laughter and perhaps a big bit of mischief to your world. As adults, we forget the lightheartedness we once had as children. Life looks and feels so different now, but this card is a reminder to reclaim this part of yourself. 
deep inside you will carry the pure spark of life you came in with. It's hiding in your grown-up body waiting to come out. There may be aspects of your childhood that need healing or remembering. You may like to write your way through early early memories or even scribe a letter to your own inner child, taking time to listen for a response. Notice that emotions come up as they connect with the aspects of yourself, this aspect of yourself. Notice that feelings may be called to be expressed or let go, and whatever wisdom this part of you may wish to share with you now, now is a good time for you to experience the world through a beginner's mind. As a magical place that is, see it with awe, wonder, and intrigue. Be open to a world of new opportunities, new perspectives, new knowledge, and experience. Ask your inner child to lead the way today and see where he takes you. Jump in the car or on your bike or go on an adventure somewhere. Play in the sun, build a sandcastle, run around in the grass, draw a picture, tell a joke, bake, the <laughs> bake a cake with a friend. I've been wanting to bake a pie. I'm going to go get some blueberries, some blackberries and bake a pie. I probably should do blueberries and blackberries together. Something different. Dance around in your in your lounge room. Tell a story in the dark. Do a puzzle, build a fort, play a board game with a partner, or best of all, spend time and generally playing with kids. I do that every day. I, I'm a nanny, so I'm always with children. Been between 